In the previous video, we covered how to create a custom labeling skeleton template. In this video, we will cover how to adapt the template by adding finger markers. We will begin by applying the existing template to a range of motion trial, then creating and linking additional segments, managing the template properties, optimizing and saving the new template, and processing the dynamic trials. Begin by opening up the range of motion trial and reconstructing the raw markers. Navigate around the 3D workspace to ensure all of the markers on the subject are present. We can now attach the labeling template that we created previously. The markers can then be manually labeled like so. Once all of the markers that can be labeled have been labelled, we can then scale and calibrate the subject. These two operations can be found in the auto initialize pipeline. Within this pipeline, we can uncheck the first option, auto label static frame, and within the third option, marker only subject calibration, we can uncheck the remove calibration markers. After scaling and calibrating, you will notice that your subject has been fitted with kinematics. Note that you must remain on the same frame when creating your segments. Navigate to the Subject Preparation tab and in the Labeling Template Builder section, enter in the first name of the segment you wish to create. I will start by creating the right thumb. Select the markers that you wish to include on this new segment and then click Create and repeat the process for all additional segments that you wish to create. To link the segments, select an appropriate joint type and click Link. Remember that linking needs to occur from proximal to distal. In this case, the parent segment will be the hand segment for all of the fingers. You can now customize the look of your VST by deleting and creating sticks and changing the marker properties such as the diameter, the color and the marker name. Scrub through the trial to ensure that the marker labels have been correctly retained throughout the range of motion trial. Once you are happy that the labeling is correct, find the Calibrate Labeling Skeleton ROM pipeline and once again in the properties, uncheck the Remove Calibration Markers option. Once the pipeline has finished, we can then update the skeleton parameters. This pipeline can be found under Subject Calibration. If 
you can also choose to update the static pose required for the subject. Before running this pipeline, find the frame in which you would like to base the pose upon. You can then load in the set auto label pose pipeline and run this operation. To save the template, right click your subject name and select Save Labeling Skeleton as Template and Attach. You'll notice that your previous template name should already be in this position, which you can edit before saving. You can now open up your dynamic trial and process these by running the Reconstruct and Label pipeline. The markers will be automatically labelled. Thank you for watching, and if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch.